Okay, guys, let me go over one quick upgrade we did with the Moji Toolbar version 18. We could have called it the 18.1, but we didn't happen to. <laughs> so if you just want to make sure you have the latest one, get the one that has this new macro here called Spun Text Converter. And it's just a small little upgrade we did for sheer efficiency. So you want this is the, the latest addition to this whole list, right? So if you have this, then you have the latest addition of the whole list. Spun Text Converter. If you do not have it, how do you do it? Here's what you do. Go to, let's go there, moji-crew.com slash toolbars in the plural, toolbars. And when you go, it goes here. And this Moji Toolbar 18 XLAM, that's the one you want. The zip file is actually older. I should update that. I think I will. Uh, but this is the newest source workbook at the time of this recording. And this is the newest XLAM file at the time of this recording. So you just click this. This is all that's changed. The uh, source workbook has not changed since the zip file here. So if you've downloaded it from there, it's the newest one. If you're not sure, just get it. You know, it, it's going to want to open like this. That's kind of useless. It's It would be easier to get it from the zip file. Um, but make sure you have this latest toolbar here. That's the point. Oh, the source workbook file did download. So what would you do with these? Take them both, cut them because they're in the wrong place. Okay. And then obviously go where you should go with them, which should be, I wonder why it's showing like that. Uh, hello list. Okay. I'll deal with that later. But just go into your program files, uh, Moji Toolbar V18, right? And paste and override them. Okay. So when you do that, then you go to open this and hit this. And that's all you need to do. Just don't uh, move the files in there and expect it to work if you already have Excel open. Okay. It should be closed first. Okay. So now that we have the new files in there, what's it do? And the answer is something pretty cool, little simple, nice thing. We're working on interesting little efficiency gains. So say we got our project. Okay. And inside there, this is where we're going to put a uh, spun text download. That's the idea. Okay. So watch, you'll see, let me log in. Okay. Go to a page, some page I'm going to use, you know, I'm going to download my spun text information. So maybe I should create a copy of the page first as backup. Just always teaching you to make sure to do that. All right. Let me go to my page. Okay. Spin Rewriter API. Okay. Download spun text version. Scroll down. Use API. That way you get it. And there it is. Now, uh, close this because you're done with that for now. Minimize. Okay. Here it is. Wow. Guess what? That's what I needed from here. Okay. Now, what will we normally do? We create our Excel workbook and what will we normally do? We'd open up and let me just show you, open this, select all, copy, come over here. Okay. Double click and then paste it, accept it, go to our toolbar and hit convert from spinner syntax, right? Okay. Well, that's what this little efficiency gain makes a lot easier because watch how it'll work now. I'm not going to open this at all. This is just sitting here. I'm not going to open it. I'm just going to open the Excel worksheet, toolbar 18, spun text converter, select it. It goes right to the same folder and it's already done. It already did it. It, in, it stuck it in here and it already hit convert from spinner syntax. So now I can go through and make any changes I want to make to the layout of it. You know, get all those words the way I want them. Then when I'm done, header generator, right? Done, done. Okay, close. Okay, and then I can right click and edit to get what I need. Select all, copy it. Okay, so it's just a little more efficient, you know. And then select your source, control all, delete, control V, and you've got your new and updated everything, right? That's all I needed to do. Okay, so now you see what's going on. That's all you needed to do. All right, and since I didn't want that, what I'm going to do, of course, is get my index i didn't want it at this time because people come uh and look at these pages control -Alt, control c and then they say <laughs> i don't understand because it doesn't look the way it did before you know um because they haven't figured it out yet that's understandable it's just the way it goes uh but nonetheless control a control v there you go that's the latest update right so I thought you would appreciate that nice simple little advantage there we're going to keep streamlining 
abilities, you know, making things better and better, simpler and simpler. More simple, more simple. <laughs> I should use the right grammar. We are in the business after all. Okay, there you go. So it's available to you and you can get it at any time. By the way, last uh, point I want to make. Somebody said, what if it's going to be, let me start over. Okay, what if it's going to be um, so big a thing, okay, all right, that it's going to spill over into the next blocks. Then how does it work? Well, let me just show you. I'm going to like paste it a bunch of times. I'm just going to paste it, okay? There we go. All right. Well, so say it came in that way, and that's like, big right 220 kilobytes okay i don't know how that's going to be i don't even know how many characters are involved so we'll just have to see how it acts it may not act well i don't know all right here we go if it has to spill over then it should be able to work oh that's too big but then that's also so ridiculously big no one will ever do anything that big but let's just try to get something you know like moderately big let me see let me just see where the end of one of these is right there okay that's the end of one of these all right Okay, now still, this is like several instances. If we were to look th at this several times, just to get a clue, right? Okay, let's, whoops, let's see how many times it shows up on the page, right? Control, okay, Control V, and just uh, find one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, it's twelve. I mean, it's like twelve times as long as a normal page, all right? So let's just see how it acts now, okay? Spun text converter, import it. Okay, yeah, that worked easily. All right, so it's just going to go all the way across the page, and it's it's like a lot of data. It goes all the way out to here, okay? That's just a lot of data. It's like more than anyone would need. And just for the fun of it, let's see how many uh, select all, copy. I wonder what the character count on that would be in Word, you know? Uh, control V. Now what? Uh, references. Page layout, review, okay, uh, word count, okay. Yeah, that's huge, man, you know, 73,600, basically, uh, characters, you know, and without spaces, 67,332. It's like over 6,000 words. Yeah, so it's huge. So you're going to be in good shape. Okay, there you go. Just thought you'd appreciate that. <laughs> All right, have a good one.